What is going on there, citizens of the Reject Nation? Gonna do a first time watching today for a movie that I, I know literally nothing about, <laughs> nothing at all, called Coraline. And I am joined today by returning co-host Michael from Omni Media. Michael, how's it going, Mikey? I'm running on coffee, Greg. Running on coffee with Michael. <laughs> um, <laughs> and doing great, but bad. Man, I'm running on <laughs> no caffeine. <laughs> We're going to watch this dark movie. I've, all I've heard is that it's an animated movie that's a little bit darker than people thought. So let's see whatever the heck that means. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can leave a like, we would love that very much. Also, um, you can subscribe to our channel, but also subscribe to Omni Media. He does plenty of reactions all the time. Dude never sleeps. He's a living vampire. It's great. He's our own our own Morbius in our lives. Also, full length reaction watch alongs where you sync up with your own copy for Coraline, available for super sexy rejects. That's how we met Michael. If you want to collab with us, all you gotta do is roll the dice there and see if I hit you up one day. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're good to go. Let's uh let's get this going. You excited? Let's do it. Let's do it. I Coraline. have no idea what we're getting into. Coraline. <laughs> Coraline. <laughs> Let's go. Dakota Fanning. Terry Hatcher. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you lost me already, movie. <laughs> Weird. I do find dolls fairly unsettling. This is so a this really is a great unsettling start. <laughs> intro, man. <laughs> oh my god, this is disturbing. This is only the beginning of the movie. <laughs> what is wrong with this cat? Uh, it's barely alive. I really like the animation, though. I know, it's beautiful. And this music, man. This is the kind of movie I normally zone out to on my couch. <laughs> this is, like, I would say, like, if you put, just put this on while, right now, while you're, like, trying to unwind, like, the music would just, like, put you out, man. Wow. Holy shit. You done pissed off that cat. I'm just looking for an old well. Know it? Magic dowser. Show me the well. Whoa. What in the what world? What is happening? <laughs> ah! <Get away>! <laughs> <laughs> cool. By psycho nerds or their cat. He's not really my cat. Uh, of course, I, I do feed him every night, and sometimes he'll come in my window. And that cat is sick, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the secret well? You stomp too hard, and you'll fall in it. Oh. The mushrooms were a clue. My grandma, she owns the Pink Palace. She won't rent to people with kids. What do you mean? Oh, I'm not supposed to talk about it. I'm YB. YB Lovat. YB. Short for Yborn. Not my Ooh. idea, of course. That's mean. Coraline Jones. Hmm. It's not real scientific, but I heard an ordinary name like Caroline can lead people to have ordinary expectations about a person. Sure. <laughs> Definitely heard someone. Why were you born? Oh, that's mean. It's been a little unnecessarily mean Where's here. Worse next time. Why? Because that dowsing rod of yours, um, it's poison oak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That's awful. You can't just wipe that off. Nope. Too late. Who knows? Maybe she's lucky and she doesn't have get a reaction from it. Hey. Yeah. Oh. I fell down a well yesterday, Mom. I would have died. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's perfect weather for gardening. No, Coraline, rain makes mud. Mud makes a mess. 
can't believe it. You and Dad get paid to write about plants, and you hate dirt. Coraline. <laughs> <laughs> Some kid left this on the front porch. Hey, Jonesy, look what I found in Grandma's trunk. You look familiar? You're white. Ugh. Huh. Wow, what? Oh, that's really eerie. That's oh, I don't creepy. like that. Look at that man's neck. <laughs> Why does this guy look like this specific character design look familiar to me? Mm, what'd the boss say? Don't even think about going out, Coraline Jones! <laughs> this house is 150 years old. So? So explore it. Go out and count all the doors and windows and write that down. Or list everything that's blue. Just let me work. <laughs> oh, she's neglected. <laughs> oh, life. <laughs> Great thing about this animation is it really captures movement really well. Yeah. What in the world? You did that with your bare hands? Oh, <laughs> I know this pain. Uh. <laughs> I know her. <laughs> this is too relatable, I'm, man. I'm Coraline. <laughs> Such a wonderful ethereal mood to all this. What in the world? One boring blue boy. Yeah, mm, I don't know about that. Huh? There's some neat shots. Yeah. <gasps> uh oh. Secret tunnel. I'm really. Yeah, with wallpaper. I heart mulch. So many keys. With a button shaped pommel on it. Damn, you nailed down that one key. Rick, I don't get it. <laughs> they must have closed this off when they divided up the house. You're kidding. And why is the door so small? We made a deal. Jesus. You didn't lock it. <laughs> you didn't lock it. <laughs> Looks more like slime to me. Well, it's slime or bedtime, Fusspot. Now, what's it going to be? Think they're trying to poison me? <sighs> <laughs> Good oh, I like that. I mean, she's got a quaint little room with that little window outcrop. It's nice. Yeah. Quit That's a, not. Quit being ungrateful, <laughs> Coraline. Oh, my God. Yeah. Nah. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Go through it, Coraline. It's like an esophagus. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's some alternate reality. Mom? What are you doing here in the middle of the night? You're just in time for supper. Yikes. No, oh, geez. <laughs> my mother doesn't have buttons. <laughs> Do you like them? I'm your other mother, silly. Now go tell your other father that supper's ready. Well, go on. The mitt has a button on it. Huh. Hello? Hello, Coraline. Yep, nope. My father can't play piano. No need to. What? This piano plays me. Ugh. <laughs> she's a doll, she's a clown. She's as cute as a button. 
They're like human puppets. Wait, can they actually see though with the button knife? I assume so. And it's good. Hungry, aren't you? Don't be gravy. Well, here comes the gravy train. I could have sworn for a second that was Thomas the Tank Engine, just because of the coloration. <laughs> <laughs> Mango milkshake. What is this world? A trauma response to her neglect. <laughs> Uh, I could see that. She's getting everything she wants and the attention and everything. And soon as you're through eating, I thought we'd play a game. In the rain? What rain? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I better get home to my other mother. But I'm your other mother. <laughs> I think I should get to bed. Of course, sweetheart. It's all made up. It's all made up. Hmm. Now there's a mystery. What's shaking, baby? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting dream. So wouldn't there be a, a another core line? Uh, they've got the bug in the eyes and all that, so I'm wondering if somehow the doll is the other Coraline, but ended up here. And when the doll ends up in hit this world, they end up as a doll. Weren't really you? You were my other mother. Buttons for eyes, huh? Can you get me some of that magic mud you were talking about? Because I have a terrible case of writer's rash on my. Uh, uh. <laughs> Dude, that dad looks like he's decaying. Viserys Targaryen over here. Somebody else lived there the whole time. I think our mail got mixed up. Should I leave it outside or? <gasps> just go in. To just <laughs> like Toby Maguire. Just go in. Hmm. Alan Tudyk. Secret. What in the world? New cheese sample. Yeah. Very clever. Using what? this mix up to sneak my home and peek at Mush. What is this anatomy? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what? This guy's really disturbing. Have beat, make you strong. <laughs> That's Vadania, Caroline. That dude's like a fat praying mantis. <laughs> Jumping mice? They are saying, do not go through little door. It's all bricked up. Sometimes the mice are little mixed up. Hmm. hmm. He, like he looks like a strung out Dr. Robotnik. All right. Oh, here we go. Are those dogs real? Ah, oh, sweet departed angels. Couldn't bear to part with them. So we had them stuffed. Oh, you should have buried them. Oh, your tea leaves, dear. They'll tell me your future. Drink up then, go on. Her voice sounds really familiar. You are in terrible danger. What do you mean? There's a tall, handsome beast in your future. A what? You're holding it wrong. See? Danger. What? <laughs> see a very peculiar hand. I see a giraffe. <laughs> Never wear green in your dressing room. Acquire a very tall stepladder. And be very, very careful. Oh. What in the world? These are really off-putting neighbors. Danger? Oh. <gasps> it's YB. This is played way too much siphon filter. Damn, this is a, it's a really cool animation though, man. Yeah. That doll, did you make it look like me? Oh, no. I found it that way. 
old as his house, probably. Come on. Blue hair, my swampers, and raincoat? Dang! Check out Slugzilla! <coughs> Gross. My parents. They don't listen to me either. Uh-huh. You mind? Oh, okay. What? You are a creepy ass kid. I've never been inside the Pink Palace. You're kidding. Grandma kill me. Thinks it's dangerous or something. Dangerous? That's a common word today. Hmm. When they were kids, Grandma's sister disappeared. She says she was stolen. Maybe she just ran away. There's a real mystery afoot here. Yeah. I don't know. People were like, this movie's so dark. It doesn't seem that dark. I bet he's hungry as a pumpkin by now. You mean my other father? Your better father, dear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is this some like manifestation thing? It feels like it. Because it seems so far it only happens when she goes to bed, too. Oh, the sound design there. This is gorgeous. Yeah, I know. It's very illuminating. <laughs> what in the world? I love your garden! How <laughs> darling, Is that a praying mantis? <laughs> yeah, with <laughs> wheels. It's very expressive, this movie. Yeah. Mice perform after dinner. Really? That know-it-all white oh, wait. Was on Mr. B's head. I knew he was wrong. Do we have like others of the whole neighborhood? Correct. Yeah. Oh. Another whitey. Hello, why were you born? Hello. Oh my god, he doesn't talk. Thought you'd like him more if he spoke a little less. So I fixed him. Did you so his uh, mouth shut? What'd you do? I like it. What in the now world? Run along, you two. Why can't he talk? Why be so silent? <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Oh, this is welcoming. Oh my Whoa. goodness. They spelled her name right. You adjust the things really fast, Coraline. Yeah, not concerned at all that he was like physically altered for your <laughs> pleasure. Does Vadania, Coraline? Oh. What do the butter knives mean? <laughs> it's like a world that she can control. I don't know, puppets. Man. Dolls that she can control. She's playing pretend. I saw a real mouse circus. Not pretend like the crazy man's in our house. Maybe they'll love the new catalog. At least they'll love my chapters. Wow, rude. You guys are super neglectful. She really just, you know, you might have just nailed it on the head at the very beginning of the movie, Michael. <laughs> this is just sad, man. Yeah. Put them back. My other mother would get them. <gasps> Maybe she should buy all your clothes. Maybe she should. And then other mother will kill you. <laughs> and become the real mother. The only mother. What in the hell is this? You can't fridge? even take care of the fridge. Had to go food shopping anyway. You want to come along? You can pick out something you like. Oh, like the gloves. If things go well today, I promise I'll make it up. That's what you always say. I'll make it up. <laughs> I'll bullshit you. I mean, it's got to be hard, but at the same time, they are not doing a great job keeping a inner head space. Michael, with you and I not being parents, I think we have every right to say what kind of parents they should be. You are correct. Trash. Trash parents, man. <laughs> Abusive as hell. <laughs> Quit all of your jobs and, and just focus on your daughter. <laughs> I 
I don't know. There's something that reads sinister about this other side. It might be the button eyes and the uh, no. extraction of vocal cords. <laughs> <laughs> That's not quite it. <laughs> that cat's on us. There's some witchcraft happening here. Miss Fink and Miss Forcible have invited you downstairs after lunch. I hope you. Oh, I wonder what, what they're. Loves mother. Are they probably they're like skinny jazz versions of themselves. You must be the other cat. No. Whoa. I'm not the other anything. I'm me. There's Keith. Yeah. She hates cats and tries to keep me out. But she cares, of course. Hmm. You probably think this world is a dream come true. But you're wrong. The other Wiley told me so. What? She's practically naked. I know <laughs> as the siren of old dead and sea, the breaker of hearts by the day. Oh, the eyes and the people on the back are moving. Oh, wow. Oh, goodness. I could go for darkness. I did not expect something this revealing. <laughs> oh, no. She's a reverse mermaid now. That did not seem like the ideal world. Oh, whoa. whoa what the, the hell? They are their skinny selves in there. How like a god! Ah! <laughs> Beauty, the paragon of animals! Yeah! And now this, you're stuck. This is such a strange film. I'm mystified by it, though. Good night, YB. Hmm. Oh, you, you're creepy. I don't know about you, Mom. I don't know about my real mom either. <laughs> <laughs> There's one tiny little thing we need to do. What's that? Murder you your butter parents. Eyes. Butter and eyes. Black is traditional. You're not sewing buttons in my eyes. Oh, but we need a yes if you want to stay here. So sharp, you won't feel a thing. How far is this movie going to go? <laughs> exactly. I don't know, man. <laughs> I just need to sleep on things. We aren't worried at all, darling. Soon you'll see things our way. Through a skewed vision does, of buttons? What does that mean? Get the hell out of there, Coraline! You wanna stay, don't you? Going home tonight, robots. And I won't be back. <laughs> What's so bad about getting some buttons for eyes? I don't know. They seem to be fine. Mom! Dad! She's still there. Oh, no. Oh, God. It's become a nightmare. I want to go home. All will be swell soon as mother's refreshed. Her strength is our strength. Wow. What's happening? <laughs> If you won't even talk to me, I'm going to find the other whitey. He'll help me. No point. He pulled a long face. Ooh. Uh. Oh, my God. Mother controls all. Just like on the other side. This is like everything everywhere all at once. But nothing like that, everything like... everywhere all <laughs> <laughs> I mean, on the other side, her real father was all like, you know, it's, it's she's the boss. Can you walk away from something and still come back to it? Because that's life. <laughs> Stop! He's one of the circus mice. Oh my oh. god! What is happening? <laughs> I don't like rats at the best of times, but this one was sounding an alarm. Everything is a facade. <laughs> of course, chocolate never hurts. Like what? 
Nah, I'm okay. Zanzibar. Oh my god. Yeah, that was not Coco. You aren't my mother. Apologize at once, Coraline. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll give you to the count of three. <laughs> no. One. Two. Uh. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, no. It's like Cruella de Vil. What is she? This is like a real case of the grass is greener on the other side. Then you're there, and it's all the same, if not worse. Don't remember our names, but I remember my true mommy. This is like the black phone. Yeah. <laughs> she spied on our lives through the little dog's eyes and saw that we weren't happy. Oh my god. If you do win your escape, you could find our eyes. Has she taken those too? Yes, miss. And hidden them. Find our eyes, mistress, and our souls will be free. Oh, he's more <laughs> dead kids. <laughs> Why me? Yeah. No. Why me? Hey, what's up with his mouth? Oh, wow. Did he slice it open? She do this to you? Oh no. <laughs> Just making him smile. Is that you? Oh. Oh, it is a disgusting hole. <gasps> Thank you, YB. She's been gone for like 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. That would be terrible. Your parents are dead. Oh, mom's groceries! Oh, but they're uh, all old. You know that, that old doll I, I gave you? Um, my grandma's real mad. Says it was her, her sister's. Grandma's missing sister. I think I just met her. Come on. Where are her parents? Yeah. Aren't there a bunch of other questions? The other mother. She's got this whole world where everything's better. The food, the garden, but it's all a trap. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I think I heard someone calling me. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> Were they abducted or something? I mean... That's what I'm thinking. What's it for? Well, it might help. They're good for bad things. Lost things, April. Bad. Lost. Bad. Lost. Bad. Lost. I like to think every one of these choices have a meaning, but some of it I think is just really random. <laughs> this is one of those uh, movies like you gotta, you probably have to watch a couple times. Let's watch it again right after. Yes. We don't need to sleep. <laughs> oh, I even gave her the neck oh, brace. Now you appreciate them? Huh? To be fair, she's just wanted their attention this entire time anyway. Hello? How did you get in? Do you know where mom and dad are? <laughs> oh, a cute cat now. He went from disgusting to cute. Oh my god, they're hanging in the living room. Oh my god. Dad. What the heck? Ah! Oh, I would not put that cat on the glass. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Does that have consequences? That's <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so I was like, I don't know, man. Let's go back Her to the just burst into the flames. Flames. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They were cold because they were under the bed. Now they're on fire. You know you're walking right into her trap. 
She may not play fair, but she won't refuse. She's got a thing for games. It's sort of a bit crazy to see in the theaters. Yeah. Where are my parents? Gosh, I have no idea where your old parents are. Perhaps they've grown bored of you and run away to France. They weren't bored of me. You stole them. Oh, wow. Now Yikes. Yikes. <gasps> what has become of him? Why don't you have your own key? Only one key. Oh, 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 oh no. painful. Oh, God. <laughs> Why don't we play a game? I know you like them. Want to play a game? Called Remove the Buttons from Your Eyes. Finding Things Game. And what is it you'd be finding, Coraline? My real parents. And the eyes of the ghost children. What if you don't find them? If I lose, I'll let you sew buttons into my eyes. Oh, God. In each of three wonders I've made just for you, a ghost's eye is lost in plain sight. And for my parents? <laughs> I don't get it. Hmm. Oh, God. Yikes. Yeah. Must be it. Oh, jeez. This poor man. Oh. Poor <laughs> Papa. He was so nice. I like how the mom in both worlds is portrayed as just awful. Yeah. Someone's working through some stuff. Two eyes still lost. Don't worry. I'm getting the hang of it. Are you? Is that candy? Yeah. They're like I actually wrapped up one of those taffies or whatever. Um the pearl. Oh, what? Oh, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they're wrapped up. Oh my god. No, uh -huh. oh, they get stuck. <laughs> they're gonna get stuck. Oh, I like how she only cares about this YB. <laughs> I know. Is this what you're looking for? Uh huh. You think winning game is good thing? I'm gonna have great dreams tonight. I can feel it. If you stay here, you can have whatever you want, Bazinga. Always. It's so eerie. What is he right now? I don't know. A rat or a series of rats? Oh. God. Oh my God, Michael, oh, you're right. I got it. <laughs> oh, these goddamn rats! These tricky little bastards. This movie's wild, man. What does the button symbolize? Oh God, I've lost the game. I've lost everything. There's still time, Coraline. It looked like you needed this one, however. Cool cat. I still have to find my parents. There is so much asked of this Coraline. What the what the reality's distorting and breaking apart? We're in the matrix. Come on, quickly! Only the house is safe. That's 
Hmm. Unless this is just like its true form revealing itself. Going to the foundation. You still need to find your old parents. Too bad you won't have this. You cruel hearted lady. Even if you win, she'll never let you go. <laughs> I already know where you've hidden them. They're behind that door. Ah, oh. uh, Detroit Zoo. You're wrong, Coraline. She is so creepy. Yeah. Now, you're going to stay here forever. No, I'm not! Why would you <laughs> throw the cat? She's got needle hands. The cat's been so helpful. Oh! oh. Wow. Holy crap, man. Where are you? You selfish brat. Yikes. This is Okay. This, this is, is pretty so dark. This is pretty dark. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's so creepy. Yes, dead kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so demented. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was scary. Are they? Okay. Thank God. <laughs> we got a lot to celebrate. You're talking about your garden catalog? What else? But look at the snow <laughs> on your clothes. What's gotten into you, Coraline? What's wrong with you idiots? <laughs> Such a dumbass parents. She should have got a button on her eyes. Stay with her. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with that crazy lady. <laughs> Wait, was that a present or a mouse trap? I couldn't tell. Gloves. The twenty-five dollar gloves. This whole thing was a black mold hallucination. It's <laughs> <laughs> hilarious. It was all I could think of. No. What a forgiving cat. But we still don't like YB. Yeah. Whoa. Van Gogh. What in the starry night? You're in terrible danger, girl. What? How? <laughs> I thought we were done. The key, miss. There's only one at the Belden will find it. I, I gotta hide this somewhere. S somewhere she can never... Just leave it in the keyhole. She would never the suspect well. it's there. <laughs> in the keyhole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the spot, the, the, the part where YB was showing her earlier in the movie. With the well? Oh, yeah, the well, the thing you pointed out. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like Freddy, man. It's going to turn into a new nightmare here soon. Ah! Uh, this is so wild, man. Yeah. Why me? <laughs> Our favorite stalker. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> that would have been so funny if they just killed off YB. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that was crazy. It's 
why we have any idea what's going on? I don't know, man. He was all like skeptical earlier. And now he was like, let's murder this sentient hand. <laughs> well, grandma showed me this picture after I called you crazy. The sweet ghost girl. The sweet ghost girl? We can tell her together. We, we can? You know, I'm glad you decided to stalk me. <laughs> <laughs> no woman has ever told me that. You were right, Coraline. I really hate dirt. But the tulips look nice. I I don't quite get what's what a weird ending. Hello. I've got so much to tell you. Your sister was murdered in yeah, this I house. Know. <laughs> Very specific thing to tell you. <laughs> That cat, man. Wow. What wow. a... What a f <laughs> I went on a journey there. I was just that like... Was a, I was just like zoned out on that film the whole time. <laughs> right? That was, that was so, so good, though. So creepy. Oh, wow. Dude, that was a... That was a trippy-ass film. What we got... A stop motion rig. Ah. Oh, that's neat. I I like that. <laughs> <laughs> sure, there, oh. there's something deeper there to a back. I'm sure. <laughs> Jerkwad. <laughs> All right, well, that was a a really vivid imagination down the subconscious corridors of abuse <laughs> that I did not <laughs> and neglect and neglect that I did not uh, <laughs> think I'd be walking into today. <laughs> Before we yeah, filmed, man. we were trying to watch another movie, we couldn't get it to load, and then we were like, "Well, I got Coraline on the list," <laughs> and I was like, "I don't know anything about Coraline," and from what I heard about it, it sounds like I really got to pay attention, and I don't know if my brain could absorb it. And uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it was really haunting and very expressive. Uh, but yeah, there's it, it's like wow, what a what a very thought provoking movie that I was I was like warped into and. Uh, I, I felt like I was just, it, it, I think it's like ethereal hypnotic abilities were sort of working on me <laughs> throughout. <laughs> I was like, okay, right. yeah, whoa, I just, I'm, I'm kind of like ready to, it was one of those things where like, I'm ready to close my eyes and just let my mind just see the imagery in there. It was, I was getting sucked into this, this other world. But what what do you think, Michael? Did you like it? I, I really did enjoy it, man. And like you said, like the, I think, that kind of surreal otherworldly like state it kind of puts you in with everything going on with the visual effects like just the art direction the design and all that it's just and then that that score and it just like it creates this this mood this vibe that just kind of like lulls you into this like i almost want to say false sense of security oh exactly at times. exactly yeah definitely and oh my lord, man! Which is uh, which works on the on the themes of domestic mm -hmm. violence. You know, we got to be a little <laughs> bit careful with our words. But she's like, it, it it is. I keep trying to nail down what the hell the buttons represent. I can't, or like, I don't even have a a real interpretation for it. Um, I, I mean, I think it could be just you know, because it's not sewing your eyes shut. Like you can still see. Uh, so that's why I'm like, I don't know what it means. Are you trying to figure that out? Do you have too, an interpretation? It? Yeah. I mean, the only thing like even remotely close, but it still doesn't necessarily explain the buttons itself is like there's this kind of theme of like because of the neglect that's going on in the home for her with her parents having their priorities on everything other than her. Yeah. At that point, like forces her to kind of like she they just moved. This place is 
to her run down isolated there's a bunch of weirdos everywhere there's this stalker kid running around this cat with mange so yeah. like there's this perception of like you know it's that this is we're take at first glance we're taking everything in as this negative like surroundings so like and then she gets this idea she goes to sleep and she thinks of all the things that she would want to see and want to have and the house is brighter the garden's full and lively and her neighbors aren't as we they're still weird but they're like not as off-putting they're more welcoming so it's like everything is kind of like this weird warped like perfect version at first of what she's hoping this place would be with her family and then so i don't even know what i'm trying to say at this point yeah i asked her what so the there's like mean. this <laughs> i know but i'm just like it, it, i mean if, if i kind of wonder if the buttons damn. mean something <laughs> as basic as you know because like they talk about the mother the the other mother uh mm-hmm. wanting you know someone to to love you know if there's something that uh, as a subject in my life of domestic violence is is, is a subject i'm you know know about for sure <laughs> you know mm-hmm. without going into too many personal details uh it's it's a subject i'm very much familiar with and and something i hold near and dear to my like you know when i look into charities and shit and it's often something with that so um yeah and and you know like there are those kind of parents where a lot of the times with like a domestically violent parent where this type of like gaslighting and narcissism and self-serving where it's like this false sense of allure with with love but then underneath that is it's it's all a big manipulation tactic of possession and if we're Mm -hmm. looking at the buttons as a symbolic reasoning for the dolls it's like keeping the whoever like by by her having them putting them with the button eyes that keeps them as their their dolls a thing to control like a bright thing to control so it's like the most basic thing because i'm like that's what the movie feels like it's telling me and, but i keep right. going like is there like something deeper about the buttons themselves that i'm He's not sewing your up. eyes shut yeah I don't, I don't i don't quite know um but i, I imagine like i feel like the former is a, a part of it but that's one of the cool things about this film is like you said it while we were watching it. There's many ways of like revisiting this would allow one to to, to know where it's going would make it easier mm-hmm. to kind of interpret certain choices or interpret certain meanings and perhaps pick up other clues and whatnot. Because it doesn't really take the full like horror direction or or the the true unveiling of what's going on in the other world until like close to an hour into the movie it, it takes a while before we mm-hmm. before we actually find out uh, before that it's just sort of this insidious build to like i know right. something messed up's going on but i don't quite know what's messed up that's going on so it really puts you in like Car- Coraline shoes of mm-hmm. yeah why wouldn't i stay here look at this this is amazing um but then it's not and it's also like you know a lot of praise and a lot of feelings of loneliness and yeah. wanting to belong um and in some ways generational trauma uh, of, of like that's what the other mom wants and mm-hmm. Coraline's also very lonely and wants uh wants someone to connect to because like you said neglect so yeah there's some there's some deeper there's some deep shit happening here is what I'm trying <laughs> to say <laughs> yeah like to go on what you're you go on to what you were saying like, like that build up like when she's going into that other world there's this idea of uh like looks can be deceiving Mm -hmm. you know everything looked great but like even for like uh, from the other side you know sometimes you might look at that other family or look at that you know other person in your life whether it be a friend family member whoever maybe it's like oh man if only my life was like theirs or whatever but you have like no idea what's going on on the back side of that exactly so it's like what happened there where she's like oh this is great look my dad's awesome here my mom's awesome here and then when she goes back the dad is like literally a meat puppet yeah at the wheel of this other mom and all that it's like the things start to kind of show themselves the cracks start to form the more she's around it and it's also like she's a a life force sucker and yeah like this smothering energy 
I will just drain you. The eyes are the windows to the soul. Nah. So if she's clogging that up or taking that. Yeah. yeah. Trapping that. That's another way to talk. Look at it. Yeah. I could make work my brain sometimes. I could, I could uh, make shit up. <laughs> <laughs> it could uh, sound a little bit deeper than I <laughs> maybe can make And it. it also taught us a valuable lesson. Kids, it is okay to be a stalker. It's okay to be a stalker if it leads to you being a hero in the end. Every young man's dream is to stalk and then be rewarded. <laughs> Uh, I, that's what I would want. The black cat was cool. I mean, everything on like it's easy to look at this film and want to like kind of deconstruct all its deeper meanings. But I, I think on like a technical level, it's just mm. it's as outstanding animation. Like this is two thousand nine, oh, sure. and it's still so so striking. Um, like I, I love the movement because it's a stop motion, and one of my favorite parts about stop motion is is capturing the movement, and the movement is mm-hmm. is so. It, that's one of the biggest alluring parts, and and I do like that it leans into this whimsy eccentricity about it. It's it's a strange film in, in every regard, and like there are a lot of things I'm just like I don't I don't even care to try to figure out what <laughs> it represents. I just think it's weird. Uh, like the like the two that's where like the two imagination, women. yeah, the the imagination of it all just kind of creeps in, and the way that it just kind of a. Uh, both within the story and just then within the art direction as a whole creates this like dreamlike quality of the whole thing. Right. They're not really, you know, bound by being hyper realistic or anything like that. It allows them to really kind of free flow and do some really interesting stuff with the, the shots, the angles and the expressions and all kinds of really fun stuff. And plus like it's just a fantastic art house, man. So like, they knocked it out of the park with this one. That's what I mean. Is like some of it I didn't like. Like I feel like the the, the main themes of what is they're going for, mm-hmm. I'm picking up on. But there's other things that I'm like, look, I don't I don't know what the mice mean. I don't know what the two cr- like creepy theater ladies who have dog audience really means. <laughs> I'm just like watching it going. That's just strange. Like that's all I got for you. It's it's strange. Or I don't know what it means. It's just freaking weird. It's all like there's someone much smarter than myself out there who has decided to do a whole bunch of research and read the book to compare it to the movie to then go, this is what it means. <laughs> and I watch it on my first go around and I'm like, I don't know, which is fucking bizarre. <laughs> like that's oh, dog wings. <laughs> dog dog wings and and taffy. <laughs> like I don't I don't care what it means of <laughs> being stuck in this world or something. Like I I don't know why dogs specifically or bat dogs like it's a really yeah. strange thing. Knowing game and like everything probably has like a very specific purpose yeah well that's like an like, alice in wonderland vibe too yeah in a lot of ways yeah for sure but yeah it was gorgeous it was, it was gorgeous and scary too it's like pretty scary at times <laughs> dude if i if i saw this like when i was a kid i'd probably be pretty freaked out i mean there were some not gonna parts. lie man there were parts in the I was imagining like what if I was as an adult watching this in the theaters I'd be like this is mm-hmm. pretty freaking horrifying you know <laughs> like it, it it escalates into something mm-hmm. that that gets progressively scarier you know and uh I can't imagine being a kid watching this like it's rated PG and I just I don't yeah, know Yeah I don't man. see it I don't see it man I feel like it'd be well, PG-13 uh, Well uh, man it's also very it's unpredictable. Rough, it's very unpredictable too, and uh, mm-hmm. and and uh, yeah. So wanting that sense of belonging, I, I I thought it was actually kind of beautiful and, and creepy. <laughs> you know, it was like right. wonderful color palette throughout. Uh, it was awesome. It was so vivid, like the entire way through. Um, and Terry Hatcher was the mom. Yeah, she did a great job on that. Mm-hmm. Freaking Dakota, ass mom, and great Dakota was Coraline. I'm assuming. Yeah, and uh, I think I think Ian McShane was uh the Babinski. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I heard it through the voices. Yeah. There. Um, another thing I think like she was turning. We saw like him riding the mechanical mantis or whatever, and then she was kind of turning very mantoid at the end. And the man and mantises, the females eat the males. 
Okay. <laughs> I'm just like still like thinking of shit, dude. I mean, hey, you're probably right, man. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I'm like, I don't at know the end of the, about these animals to know what the hell they represent. <laughs> like, at weird. the end of the day, man, bare minimum, bare bones, straightforward. It's a great story. It's a great into. story. With the yeah. the whole like to me, I mean, the most obvious correlation is it, it is a correlation of like a, of a like neglect is a form of abuse, and and it mm-hmm. is and it is like a, a of a it's a big correlation of an abusive household, and whether or not it's uh I mean it, to me the movie takes a takes a um a a choice to be literal, you know, instead of taking the choice of. Is this in her head? Is it not in her mm-hmm. head? I, to me, it, it took the choice that it, no, this is not in her head. Especially when you got like I don't know how the book uh, plays out, obviously, but mm-hmm. with uh, with YB, you know, um, fighting the hand at the very end, right? And wanting to introduce Grandma and stuff like to me, I'm like, okay, this is definitely because I was still like questionable about it, uh, you know, when the when the parents come out through the broken snow globe and they're like, honey, we're home, and they're and they're just disregarding. Yeah, that I'm like, okay, maybe it's still in Coraline. That could head. be a coincidence. Yeah, no. yeah. But I'm like, their food was like all rotten and shit. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, but what? But was it? Because uh, their keys were also still in the car, and the car was still at the house when that happened. So it's like it played that line. While that's happening in the middle, I think it's fair to say that who knows what's going on. But like by the end of it, I, I agree with you. I think they really kind of like cemented that. Yeah, all this stuff definitely happened at the end. Yeah, and I like I I respect rather taking a choice um in in that regard. Like I just like just make a choice, and I like that they made a choice to like I'm gonna stick with this is this is this really did happen, mm-hmm. and so especially with her and YB happening, and you know a lot of times like kids can be more open to things that mm-hmm. are greater than you know life. Like don't be like thinking beyond the realistic, quote unquote. Right. right, delving into the imagination and how the imagination can be more real and attainable for, through a the youth eyes, I think is a, is a great call, and also just had a great sense of atmosphere too. I got to point that out. It was, it was a one. Yeah, it was a really this is a this is a hard film to make. Like thinking about stop mm-hmm. motion, like Man, this film must have been a bitch to put together <laughs> because yeah, this amount of crew that had to assemble this and then adapting Neil Gaiman's work, I can't imagine is the easiest thing in the world. <laughs> you know, to to make something well, that's really true. cohesive. Unless you got Neil Gaiman on staff like Sandman, was he uh, was he part of this? Because uh, it didn't say that he wrote it. Um, um, no, it was a book, obviously. But right, I'm not sure. Like if he actually had like a producer's credit or anything of the sort. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember. I just saw that it was based on his book. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I don't know. It's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. But I like how the parents didn't learn anything in the end, though. Yeah, I know. But she learned to <laughs> appreciate them and go, it's okay that they kind of ignore me. <laughs> <laughs> Neglect is okay. It's okay. Because I went through, a, there's a much, there's something much worse out there. <laughs> um, but you know, it's, an, it's, an, I, 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 I got the impression rather than telling, I got the impression that it was an adult working through childhood trauma versus mm-hmm. an adult telling kids how to react to their parents. Be- right. Because, you know, like that's often what happens is, you know, you might go through some some things that were traumatic, and then when you get older, you start to kind of be pissed off at your parents for what happened to you. And mm-hmm. then you get a little bit older, and you're like, well, they didn't really realize what they were doing. <laughs> and they were doing their best at the end of the day to take care of me and they still loved me, you know? And then there's a lot of things that you learn as an adult that you're like, Oh, okay. I see what all they were also dealing with while also trying to deal with me. So there's like a level of understanding that you develop too, as you get older. Exactly. That too. Exactly. Which is like, which is kind of what I said earlier in the movie when I was definitely giving the parents the benefit of the doubt. (laughs) If they don't do what they're here to do, like there won't be food on the table. (laughs) So like, well, it's yeah. a catch twenty two situation, so like I I get it. It's oh. just like from the point of view of the kid, like that's kind of where you're they're putting your headspace in with the film at first. Yeah, because even like the way she sometimes is with like other people and stuff, like Coraline, you could see sort of morphing into her mom in some ways. 
Yes. And and uh, the way she's with, especially with YB. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like, I like the one who doesn't talk, <laughs> you know? Uh, she, you, she learns to sort of perhaps, because the thing with generational trauma, too, is you have to kind of learn to break that cycle. So mm-hmm. I could see a version of this where it's, it is her breaking the cycle while being a film about wonder and whimsy and being wa- weird, <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's, it's 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 inventive man it's creative ass shit it's really it's really it's really awesome stuff um i wonder if it was made for 3d because there were parts of it that felt like it should have been 3d it would have yeah. been around that point where 3d that... was popping yeah 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 well we did it man we tried sounding smart <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the best we could do best is could, try is try to pull some shit out of your ass and connect it to but yeah it was released in 3d it was okay there were shots yes. that looked like it was in, <laughs> there were shots that looked like it was in 3d um that i was like i wonder uh so yeah that makes sense fascinating man just reading some fun imdb facts here all righty well there we go Everything on a technical standpoint from music to sound design to obviously animation was great. Some wonderful voice performances brought to life. Felt like they're real performers. And, um, you know, I didn't lo- like I only really enjoyed two characters, which were the mom and <laughs> the <since> Coraline. <laughs> like, the, yeah. If there's one thing that was kind of missing for me was there's there's other characters you're cutting around to. And I didn't really care about any of them other mm-hmm. than Coraline and, and the mom. The other mom, like there were the two, and, right. and the cat. I like the cat too. Uh, like there were the ones I was most, I, I, I really enjoyed being around. But the other ones, that, well, there's always like this sort of distance with me. Of, right. You're just like bizarre. I don't really. I like. I like quiet. I mean, I'm kind of with Coraline. I like quiet YB. <laughs> I don't really care for talking to YB. <laughs> but I like quiet YB. I like quiet. You know, mouth sewn shut. <laughs> quiet. Why be easy. I was mildly endeared to the father, but I, I'm right there with you on everything else. All the tertiary characters were just kind of like, oh, that was they're weird. <laughs> yeah. They're fun. They were fun to visit for a little bit. They're eccentric, but you know, I don't really care about them. <laughs> like they're cutting to all them at the end. And mm-hmm. Like I don't really, I don't. It's not really doing anything for me <laughs> when they're showing all them at the end. But hey, I'm just happy. Coraline's happy. You know. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Um, what do you guys think about Coraline? Do you like it? Leave your thoughts down below. Be sure to subscribe and leave a like. Follow Michael by Omni Media over on his YouTube channel where he's doing reactions. At the time of filming this, what is the latest things you've reacted to? Let me see this. Let me see this. I'm uh, currently going through Umbrella Academy for the first time. Congratulations. Uh, if you want more Neil Gaiman. I did the Sandman. Nice. You're doing Chuck. Got season two of that coming on. Yes, we are both doing Chucky. Titans. Titans is doing Literally, okay. Literally, you you asked me, and like my brain went blank. I was like, "What am I?" <laughs> <laughs> the Midnight Club. Oh, is the Midnight Club good? I haven't seen anything for it. I really, yeah, the marketing was terrible for this thing man every time i saw the marketing for it it was just images of other mike flanagan stuff (laughs) (laughs) and i didn't understand i was like is this just like a recap of his work i don't know what this is um think of it like it's a i don't even know how to describe it it's anyway it's it's good (laughs) it was a lot of fun it's a little more younger skewed um compared to some of his other previous series at least but i think it like as far as like the sub subject material and all that i think it was pretty pretty solid but it yeah it's uh i think it was hoping for a season two but i don't know if it's gonna get one <laughs> your doctor who reactions pop in there's the the what else do you got here <laughs> How was the last season of The Walking Dead? Now I'm just talking to Michael. <laughs> it, is, last... it is okay. Oh. <laughs> they yeah. they they're playing with the hole they dug themselves in two three seasons ago. So well, it's, it's not one. bad. It's, it's still one. fun, but like there's a lot of it that just feels missing with everything that it kind of 
was outside of their control at least. And it's the last season. What are you going to do? Yeah, but there's like 18 spinoffs coming, so it's not really done. Those are still going? Uh, Two are still greenlit, and then a mini series with Rick. The movies that were planned with Rick are now a limited series. That's too bad. Instead. I feel bad for him. I'm sure he was excited to have a movie. <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to be a trilogy, I think, from what I remember. Yeah, what are you going to do? Um, all righty. Well, buddy, I will talk with you soon. See you, Reject Nation. Bye.